and uh, third 23 11 entry is Justin Haley big off driver's left that's out of five and six gets to the driver's left that's a very part, narrow part of the racetrack through five and six Logano jumps the curbs and ends up getting contact with Haley pushes Haley out of the, in the grass and now Haley's just along for the ride watch as he hits these tire barriers those things are great when you hit them head on, but knows that's not going to help Brad. That's going to hurt his team. Oh, contact. Eleven's going to go around. He got tagged by the 48. They both get collected, slide into the infield, and the caution comes out. Right here, we can draft straight. Kyle down to the bottom of the racetrack and just up the racetrack into the door of the 12, and that brings him right around. Just two guys racing hard for position. It's going to move to the inside. Bowman's going to block. More of a block, contact. Oh, oh and he goes, puts him in the wall. Into the wall goes Bowman. Oh, oh, right right now. Suarez down, back down. and Harrison Burton caught up. Stay all the way at the top and stop. Free pass is going to go. Right along with Denny Hamlin. Like, was his lap time competitive before this mistake? That's what he wanted to know. And it was, but yep. look how, look how, it, they're gonna have to really spend some time on this car to make sure nothing's damaged. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And in 50, there's 54 seconds that are left. Uh-oh. Hit the wall, we just heard. Yeah, he's going down the back straightaway, really seen three drivers. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's, that's hard. Yes. Yeah. So that's exiting. Gonna chase him in, to your point, Jeff. He cannot allow the 12 to get a lap. Look at the five gain to the rear bumper. Oh, of the 12. oh, oh. the five into the water. The barrier's right at the end of pit road. He's helped his teammate. Christopher Bell, the 20 car on the outside, Rick. Yeah, the back. Oh, oh, oh big into wreck. the wall hard goes Ryan Blaney off the nose of Ty Gibbs. And the big one happens behind him. Uh, and it brought so many people into it. Look at all these cars, how it starts. Bad pushes start so many of these wrecks right there. I'll be honest, I was watching that 54. He had a little bit of a wiggle before the push. If we slow it down. It's a big push coming now for Harvick. Oh, oh and around goes a couple cars. Priest upside down. He's barrel rolling through the grass. Ryan Priest. Upside down. Tire off the left side of the car. Got a flat tire on the 19. That right rear quarter panel damage, I believe, has the. That's the right front. It's flat now. Down. Oh! And a pit road, but a big wreck. Brian Sieg is involved. The one of Sam Mayer sneaks through. The 78 also there. Anthony Alfredo. The two is in it. Sheldon Creed, we just heard. Three wide. It's just much tighter here than it is at all the other tracks. Something happened in front. Looked like the 98 was having a problem. Yeah, Riley Herbst was way off pace and looked like he was getting sideways in front of him. This is just a situation where it's a chain reaction. One guy thinks he can get in a hole and another guy doesn't think there's room and things go all to pieces. You know, whether you're hanging out on Matt Crafton or if you're hanging on Sanchez, Certainly just battling for space. A little bit of stack for your drink. Oh, big Wreck stack of huge damage to a 48 of Parker. Sammy's involved as well. Justin Allgaier is involved in it. Yeah. Big wreck. This is one of those racetracks we see this a lot. Ryan Sieg, we saw the 39 bit, and they, they just don't go. And everybody's anticipating a launch, and they hadn't launched. And now the leaders, they can. Oh, we got a spin on the front straightaway, the six. He's going to hit the inside wall hard. Hard, contact. Ah. hard into the inside pit wall. Brandon Poole somehow gets turned. Ooh, the six. Does he get loose here? He'll get some help from behind. Yeah, down the front straightaway, he just comes across the nose of the 39 car. Now he's in the grass, and the car just does not slow down in the grass the way it does on the asphalt. And unfortunately, it turns. Head on to the wall, but thank goodness no people were sitting on that pit wall or near. A clean restart. Hill goes up. He blocks the 19. They catch the two, and the one goes around. The 19 of Bain sliding to the inside. Caution has come out. We see the 22. The white flag's in the air. One more time around. The seven got into the wall. Championship four. He's never won in the Xfinity Series. 
They smoked the tires. Here comes the seven. Contact made. The seven of Allgaier on the inside. Green. Allgaier is going to win in Martinsville. And they wreck on the front stretch. Big contact. Carson Hosevar on the outside line. Getting a push from Brad Kozlowski here through the tri-oval. And it just turns that 42 sideways. Oh, man, massive, massive impact for the outside wall, the 54 and the three. The three somewhat less than. Momentum coming. They're side by side through the tri-oval. Blaney, Harvick, Blaney, Harvick. They spin behind them. It's going to be Blaney. Look at this. And you definitely Logano. don't want to end up like this. Logano is heavy exactly. contacting up and gets sideways trying to correct it. 28 laps on his tires. I'm a little shocked he was running the bottom unless he was just getting a feel or letting a car go. Um, you saw the right rear pop, I think, yeah. sliding, right? So it definitely yeah. had air as he was spinning. Yeah, it's 56. Looking at the Stuart Haas Fords, Briscoe, Harvick. Oh, oh. Suarez. Suarez, right rear spinning. tire. Yep, right rear's down. So and he gets Suarez, in the wall hard. That's his 31st lap. He's been on the racetrack. He's been on the racetrack. So, but brought it to pit road for this reason. Um, I may have a tire going down. I don't know. I just picked up a, like a right rear vibration, I feel like. Um, middle one is two. Oh, oh, and into the wall is Chase Elliott. Speed, the loads. We know the teams find speed in running low air pressure in the back, getting the rear down, getting the diffuser closer to the ground to create downforce. Maybe they are in a area pressure-wise that they feel comfortable with, that they've ran at multiple tracks. A big wreck for Chase Elliott. It looked like the right rear had come down and up in the car. See right there, right rear tire came apart. and He's along for the ride right now. He was a team that decided to not come to pit road but i don't think anyone expected to have any sort of tire oh and into the wall hard the eight josh Berry as well as sam mayer in the one more contact behind him ryan sieg in the 39 is around just to the bottom right of your screen there you go the eight and the one side by side on corner entry the eight just goes up the track i couldn't tell if it was sparking. there were there were sparks behind it it looked like it shot up the track with sparks behind it so i think if we take that replay back to the initial contact i wonder if that doesn't cut the right front because if we back in the middle eight car Kessel, or eight car bushes in the wall contact made the one of ross chastain goes around he tags the wall there was Where's contact the wall, made between the eight and the one and ryan Oh, we got a crash down the back straight away. Looks like Alex Bowman's around. Yeah, big contact there. Alex Bowman slammed into the side of another car, too. So he may have... I think it squeezed oh. into the wall right there. By Michael McDowell, teammate. And I believe the 48 may have gotten really hard. Kyle Busch and his team worked really hard to make the repairs needed. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. He's there's, going into the fence. Uh, there's more repairs needed. Oh, wow. That thing just came around all on the corner entry really early. He did. Almendinger enters. He's been running kind of high. Just behind him, though, Kyle Busch spins around and backwards. If you wait a moment, here comes the seven of Coyle Joy. Another hard contact. Drivers, seems odd. It looked like he took the hardest left turn. Oh, oh and the 10. All the way up and into the wall goes the 10 of Eric Alvarola. Caution comes out, two two big coming. damage on One the more. right rear. Clear down now. Caution's out. I don't know if that right rear tire is broken from the... And the 11 hit the 54 here on pit road, Rick. Massive damage to the right side of the 11. Huge contact. I mean, the whole right side of the 11 from Jack Post back. Heavy, heavy damage, and that was contact with the left front right here. Ty Gibbs, where is Ty going? I mean, Ty's in the middle of the lane. He needs to be up much higher. That is... I mean, the, the 11 ran into him, but the 50. To the door, kind of overdrives a little bit as he enters the corner. Watch this right here. So the 48 gets a run. Bell up the racetrack, trying to take the line away. And again, a little bit of contact, really close together, and around he goes. And the first of the championship four to be eliminated is going to be Christopher Bell. Is he? Well, there. Clear. It's all on you now, bud. That's open. Break this open. We're in the wall, guys. 
So you were, we're on board, you could hear it. As soon as he touches the brake pedal, the right front rotor explodes. There. It looks like it's a flat because in the end, it is a flat tire. The rotor goes through the wheel, the tire goes down, the 20th Christopher. Caution is out, and Denny Hamlin gets in. I'm sorry, Hamlin gets in really deep, loses control, makes contact, spins. Here comes the 42 of Rockefeller. Boom, right there in the right rear and, and behind this true x on those tires he's gone oh, oh into the wall hard is the 11. denny hamlin hard into the wall in turn one green caution caution caution, caution, caution. contact big big damage to the right front of that car something broke in the steering caution is out almondinger coming off of turn four got up into the wall and then it shot him back down in front of austin cindrick take a look a little too early that's going to be a really good groove later in the race but just contact and then cindrick just didn't expect him to be in the wall slowing up that much and just hit him really hard right here, guys. That's a lot of contact. Two car off. They're all within five positions of each other right now. Oh, and he spins him. Carson Hosebart gets into the back of Corey Heim and brings out the caution at seventh one tonight. Heim is backwards on the racetrack. So Oh, no. And caution is out again. Can you believe it? Carson Hosebar destroyed his truck. I was looking on the scoring monitor that Corey Heim was was backing up to Carson Hosebar. I have to believe that uh, that's, fair. that's related. Right I believe I mean, he just... Yeah, you know, that's what we call payback. You know, we, Corey doesn't wait till, want to wait till next year. He wants to make sure. Busher and Larson fighting Whoa. for that third spot, and around goes the seven of LaJoy. Up the track, into the, oh, big oh. contact. The Newman 22. gets him in the 51, and yes, Logano also involved. Big, big damage. damage to the left rear. Yep, there's some bent broken on the left rear of that 22. Talk to us. Left rear's down. Looks bent. We got a spin on the front straightaway. The 38 is around the 11 of Denny Hamlin into the wall as well down into turn one. McDowell got in it as well. So two playoff drivers, Denny and McDowell. Here on the inside of Austin Dillon. So Kyle Busch in the 38 contact. The 38 now out of control, fish tailing. Denny trying to avoid. Here comes McDowell, heavy contact. No 20 car. Christopher Bell is well involved. Oh, we got a big wreck over here, the two. Involved. Ty Gibbs as well. Cindric's had contact with the right front. Bring the two into the wall. Here we go. Yeah, right there. Racing for 14th position. Cindric just gets into the. Had a slow qualifying effort and we're just okay during the race. Oh, oh, he's wrecking. Sure enough, into the wall he goes. The 19. He called just it. Hang up there. Hang up there. Hang up there. Looks like we might have an issue with our pace car. Yeah, it's pulled up to the top of the racetrack, and now it's starting to move here. I'm not sure exactly what was going on. They're struggling to get the car to move. We have a cleanup truck pacing the front of the field, so we have that under control. But, yeah, it just pulls up to the top. I don't know. And these drivers are kind of, they're trying to figure out what to do because yeah. they have to follow the pace car. And Chase is like, I don't want to pass you. <laughs> right. I don't think I'm allowed to stop right here. Hey, you said before the race that we would see things we've never seen before. <laughs> All right, here we go.